Hey guys, Manga Unboxed here, back for another video, and today I'm giving you my April manga reading log. I haven't really been posting too much because I've been pretty busy, and since I've been pretty busy, I didn't get to read a whole lot, or not as much as I was in the past months, but I still read a good bit, I think, maybe more than I expected, because maybe some crossed over from April, and also you can probably tell I'm in a new location. Uh, I got a tripod and a ring light, finally, I used to use this kind of makeshift manga kind of tripod thing, I'll throw up a picture, I can put it together really quick, but it was efficient, but I finally moved on, so let's just get right into the video of what I've been reading in April. So first off, we have a single volume, and it's a continuation, and it is Beastars Volume 11, I think. This came out in last month-ish, or maybe it came out in April, and I think I was kind of slacking on it. I didn't read it for a while, but uh, I finally read this. It was really, really good. One of the best volumes in a while. All the volumes have been really heat, like, as I've been going on. Like, all of Beastars is really good. If you're not reading this because it's animals, you're just immature, it is very, very good. And I highly recommend it. It has some great writing and great themes. And it, it's just amazing. It's like a 9.5 out of 10 for me. And next up, we have another continuation volume, and that is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 9. Everybody knows about this. This is super, super good shonen. I really love it. A lot of people really love it. And you can definitely see why it's so hyped up. And I've actually started reading on the Shonen Jump app. I think I'm maybe like 10-ish chapters into the Shibuya arc, which is really good so far. But it's kind of on hold right now, because as you'll see in the rest of the reading log, I kind of have some series that I've started that I need to wrap up. Next up, I have kind of a bigger item, and that is the Tokyo Ghoul box set. I read this whole thing. I think I may have read it in March, but um, I read it on vacation, I didn't include it in the reading log, and if I did, you won't be seeing this clip, but I really enjoyed it, I thought that in general, everything was really well done, I really liked the world, how like, it was like the ghouls being separated, like human versus ghoul and Kaneki stuck in the middle, you know, all that, and just in general, like the characters, the pacing, it was just really good, I give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I do think it might have been a little bit overhyped. I've seen people give it like 10 out of 10s and I thought it would be like in my top 10, but it's not quite there yet. Maybe it's in like my top 20, maybe not. I, I kind of have to check all my ratings and stuff, but I think that it's really enjoyable and you should definitely check it out. I think that if you liked happiness, you should definitely check this out. And likewise, if you like Tokyo Ghoul, check out the manga Happiness. It's really good, it's by Shuzo Oshimi. And I definitely need to check out Re after getting this. I'm pretty sure that the Re box set was having some stocking issues a little bit ago, but it should be good by now. And I'll get it soon enough, depending on what the price is, but there are other series I need to continue, like Bleach and stuff. But I've heard some mixed things about Tokyo Ghoul Re. I've heard some people say it was really, really good. I've heard some people say it was really, really bad. And I've heard some people say it was okay. So I've kind of heard everything about it, but I like Tokyo Ghoul enough to the point where I, I'll try it out myself. And if I don't like it, I can always just sell it. So now we have Monster by Naoki Urasawa. This is a very infamous series. I read volumes one to three. That's six volumes in total because these are two in ones. And so far, it's actually really good. Like, I think it lives up to most of the hype, but not all of it because I've heard that it gets a lot better. So I'm not gonna say anything yet that it's overhyped. But I do think that it starts off slower. And I've been reading it pretty slow, but every time I read it, I really, really enjoy it. I think that the mystery aspects are great. The storytelling is great and right now where I'm at I kind of see everything kind of coming together not yet but I see a lot of these events happening and some of them connect some of them don't that will probably be explained later 
but hopefully I finish like a lot of this stuff like the next series I'm gonna show you by the end of next month I'm definitely gonna finish monster by then because right now I'm kind of putting everything else on hold and I'm just kind of trying to focus in on monster but like I said I've not been reading it very very frequently frequently but um when I do read it I really like it and I'm just excited to see more Johan and more stuff happen and see it get to the climax because this is really building up to be one of my favorite series so lastly we have another banger of a series and that's Vinland Saga and I only read the first I want to say it's a two-in-one I think it's a two-in-one yeah looks about right and I read the first one and most of the second one so probably around three three and a half volumes but Vinland Saga is so heat so far it is so good I was really really enjoying it but then I actually chose Monster as my like reading book for the quarter and I had to rush to start it and as you can tell I didn't finish it in time but I still was able to write some stuff down on it but Villain Saga is on hold right now because I'm reading Monster but as soon as that's done I'm gonna hop right back into it because like everything that was going on it was just really really good I'm excited to get up to date with it but from what I've heard, the volumes just take super, super long to come out. But like, everything in this is really good. It's about Vikings, it's about this kid Thorfinn, and the way it kind of like goes from flashbacks and like the stuff with Askeladd, and there's gonna be like a bunch of, or I think about now there's gonna be like some major arcs starting. There were some, big ones that already happened like the big one was kind of the flashback the backstory but i i'm really enjoying villain saga so far and i've heard that it gets even better like the farm arc i've heard was a, like the best for some reason farm arcs are always just like the best like i'm pretty sure vagabond has a farm arc but i'm just super hyped to get into villain get into more villain saga and i'd have to say that Villain Saga is probably the highlight of the month over Monster, but you know, I haven't finished Villain Saga and I haven't finished Monster, so who knows what will happen. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry that this took so long to come out. I'm gonna try to post more, but honestly, I don't know if that's gonna happen, if I'll be able to get back to like a good three-ish day like schedule per video, but... I, I'm gonna try my best maybe if I have a bunch of time on a weekend or something I'll just try to bang out a few videos that I could use over time and That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace